A rectangular prism has a volume of 1050 cubic centimeters. If the height of the prism is 3 centimeters less than the width of the base, and the length of the base is 5 centimeters greater than the width of the base, find the dimensions of the rectangular prism. Solve algebraically. Let's assign x to the width of the base. The height of the prism is 3 centimeters less than the width of the base. The length of the base is 5 centimeters greater than the width of the base. The volume of the box is 1050 cubic centimeters. The volume of a box is length times width times height. Replace the length with x, the width with x plus 5, and the height with x minus 3. Replace v with the volume of the box, 1050 cubic centimeters. Multiply the binomials. Multiply x through the brackets. Subtract 1050 from both sides of the equation to get 0 equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 15x minus 1050. If we factor the polynomial, we can solve for x. The first step is to find potential zeros using the integral zero theorem. Using the integral zero theorem, potential zeros of 1050 are listed. Next, determine the actual zeros of the polynomial. Calculating p at negative 1, p at 1, p at negative 2, p at 2, and so on would take a long time. We'll use a shortcut by graphing the polynomial and finding the x-intercepts. The graph can be obtained by setting x min equal to negative 12 and x max equal to 12, then applying zoom fit. Use the zero feature of the graphing calculator to get the x-intercept, 10. Now factor the polynomial using synthetic division. The polynomial 0 of 10 corresponds to a factor of x minus 10. Divide x cubed plus 2x squared minus 15x minus 1050 by x minus 10. Set up the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. The quotient is x squared plus 12x plus 105, the divisor is x minus 10, and the remainder is 0. If we express the division in the form p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r, we get p of x equals x squared plus 12x plus 105 times x minus 10. Note that x squared plus 12x plus 105 cannot be factored further. Now that we know the factored form of the polynomial, we write the equation 0 equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 15x minus 1050 as 0 equals x squared plus 12x plus 105 times x minus 10. We can solve the equation 0 equals x squared plus 12x plus 105 times x minus 10 by setting each factor equal to 0 and solving for x.
x squared plus 12x plus 105 equals 0 can't be solved since the trinomial is unfactorable. x minus 10 equals 0 yields an x value of 10. The solution to the equation 0 equals x squared plus 12x plus 105 times x minus 10 is x equals 10. Use x equals 10 to find the box dimensions. The width, x, is 10 centimeters. The height, x minus 3, is 7 centimeters. The length, x plus 5, is 15 centimeters.